Newly released video shows an off-duty San Marcos police officer admitting he was distracted in a crash that killed a woman and injured another. It is important to note he has not been charged with a crime. Now remember, this happened more than a year ago now. We obtained this video from Pam Watts' lawyer. She is the survivor of the crash and partner to Jennifer Miller, who lost her life in it. And you can see Ryan Hartman here cooperating with officers, and you actually hear him admit in one part of the video that he was distracted. Lockhart police recommended a criminally negligent homicide charge. The district attorney who was handling the case presented a distracted driving prosecution to a grand jury. The grand jury declined to indict. Now, as KXAN's Jayla Washington reports, Watts is questioning exactly what evidence that grand jury was able to see. Newly released body cam video shows just how intense this deadly crash was. And it also gives a look at San Marcos Police Department Sergeant Ryan Hartman first identifying himself as San Marcos PD. Then stunned after he realized he killed Jennifer Miller. Uh, I want to cooperate, but at the same time, the death of somebody by me not paying attention. At that point, Hartman refused a blood alcohol test after officers found a beer in his truck on the crash site. I have the right to choose, I mean. Several hours later, after officers got a warrant, the test came back within legal limits to drive. But now, more than a year later, All right. Pam Watts, Jennifer's partner, marches. We're going to the front steps. She keeps showing up to San Marcos City Hall, fighting until she feels Hartman is held properly accountable. They act like they don't care. We're here today to once again see if we can wake up the city leaders of San Marcos and see if they're still comfortable with him representing the city as a police officer. Watts brought this calendar as a prop with pictures of Jennifer looking for someone in the city. My name is Pam Watts. To physically show her the date the internal investigation was done by San Marcos PD. And I simply will not accept that. You find somebody for me to talk to. She was told no one was available. Still, she says she won't stop fighting. They have a job to do. I did reach out to the Bastrop County District Attorney who oversaw this case to ask again, if he could tell me whether the grand jury saw the body cam video, he said he's not at liberty to discuss that by law, but he did say he conducted his own review of the investigation and concluded that no criminal prosecution could be sustained based on the facts. Now, I also asked Hartman's attorney for comment, but did not hear back. San Marcos PD also did not want to comment. Watts has filed a civil lawsuit against Officer Hartman with a court date next January. I'm in the studio tonight, Jayla Washington, KXAN News.